My name is Benny Tritsch from Germany, and I'm an end user computing expert since many, many years. I'm a veteran, and my speciality is like end user computing, well, digital desktop design on one side and the user experience benchmarking on the other side. I mean, the EOC market in the past was like a niche market. We had many customers in the, well, medium size and large enterprise market, plus uh, public administration. But now we are at the time where we are morphing into a platform for the Windows applications hosted in the cloud. And this is a major change uh, that I see. So we will not call it VDI in a couple of years from now. So it's rather going to be a, well, like a marriage of the modern applications with our Windows applications that I hosted in the cloud. And those applications will live happily next to each other. The transition phase between these legacy Windows applications and going full in with modern applications, that's going to take a couple of years. So there's still enough business in the EUC market. Okay. In my words, Parallels RAS is an extension to remote desktop services provided by Microsoft on one side. On the other side, Azure Virtual Desktop. So these are the two major products right now, the two major platform that RAS built on top. Uh, this is exciting because uh, in the past, we always had successful applications when they were using one of these major Microsoft platforms as a foundation. I personally believe that RAS has the advantage that number one, it is simple. The admin experience is outstanding. Many other products are more complex for the admin. And the second thing that I find outstanding is the flexibility that allows you to hook RAS into multiple EUC solutions, which makes it very attractive to customers who don't want to decide, well, what they want to do now. They want to be flexible enough to change their direction in the future. I mean, the, the customers that are currently using pure, out-of-the-box remote desktop services, they are the typical target audience for RAS. Because when they start growing their infrastructure, they run into problems regarding scalability, regarding manageability, and so RAS is the ideal solution for them. The other customer, well, the target audience is most probably those customers who decide to go from a physical infrastructure to a cloud-based infrastructure, for example, using Azure Virtual Desktop. They are overwhelmed by the uh, management overhead that is coming with a solution such as Azure Virtual Desktop. So they need a simpler console to do their job. I think that Parallels does a great job by looking at the legacy Windows applications. I, I, I call them legacy, even though there are millions of these applications out there. But step by step, we will see a decline in those applications. And what Parallels does, they are adding the Avingu piece to it that allows you to also manage the modern applications, the SaaS applications, the, the web applications. And this makes it really flexible enough so that you can go into the future with this technology. And I believe that this is a unique selling factor. What I like most about the parallel solution is number one, the simplicity, because it gives an admin a console that's easy to navigate and that's easy to work with, even if you're not an expert in the end user computing industry. The second factor is the flexibility, allowing the admins to connect to different end user computing solutions. And uh, these are the two factors that I personally like most about uh, Parallels RAS. Well, the VIPP program is awesome to me. I'm a founding member, so I'm uh, a member of the uh, VIPP program since seven years. And every year I see the program the progress in the, the product and I see the vision uh, of the 
product managers, of the developers, of the executive managers. So it is fascinating for me to see that happening now and be part of it.